you're too scared to make a film because you're an absolute freak and you're not confident enough to make movies. And yeah, sometimes I do get those thoughts because once upon a time, I used to make films and recently I've had a bit of a creative block. I just want to say everything that I do on this channel is uh, written, directed and performed by me and I don't rely on AI for any of this storytelling that we're doing on this cinematic vlog. No homage. But yeah, I've been going through a lot lately during this winter. The sun just came out just a second ago so I thought I might as well collect these thoughts now. When it comes to vlogging, I really have no issues with making things. But when it actually comes to directing and writing films, narrative films, like I used to, I've had a really long creative winter, I guess. A winter slump, which has lasted a lot longer than I thought it would. Well, the light really did change. This is the thing about relying on natural lighting. Wow, suddenly really dark, but yeah. So back to this series that I'm trying to do. I'm trying to go over old episodes and revive them because the ones that I did early on, four months ago when I first started this channel, they are really good. I feel like I put a lot of heart and soul and emotion into them, but the algorithm didn't really pick them up, unfortunately. So let's look at episode three, Melbourne Cinematic Vlog. It was an early episode uh, and it didn't get much love, but I really liked the episode. So yeah, let's take a look. A couple months ago, one of my videos went viral on It's currently sitting on 8.4 million views, with a lot of those views coming from the US. So what is it that makes this video so universal? The opening establishes that I went viral, and that it sent me on a journey of some sort. Bit of a backstory, I did go viral, that got 8.4 million views, and it's one of my more popular videos um, on another platform. And yeah, I went viral quite a lot in that period, built up a few followers, not too many, uh, but it did send me into such an existential crisis that I actually made a documentary uh, on that, which is playing at film festivals and has won awards uh, recently in the last year. Very personal filmmaking, much like my vlogging. And in fact, that short film that I did, Untitled Unfinished is the name of that, it actually has led me to do vlogging because I realized that by turning the camera on myself in a documentary format, I could actually kind of extend that to cinematic vlogging because I started seeing people like The Life of Reza and other really interesting vloggers out there. And I thought, oh, that's really interesting. Like vlogging has taken a different turn. So I might as well um, try something different with my uh, career instead of just doing conventional filmmaking and playing film festivals. There's another way to do this. So that opening establishes uh, where I am and I guess the rest of the story that is coming, but maybe it wasn't punchy enough for people. <laughs> Maybe it's that every city has a story to tell. How can this ideology help our writing? Well, take the work of Woody Allen, set in New York, films like Manhattan. Or take New York again, the Safdie brothers, Good Time, Uncut Gems. So I wanted to do something that was a little bit more inspired by 90s independent cinema movements where characters, uh, like let's say in a city like New York, uh, where going around and bumping into characters and having their day. Melbourne is not New York, but Carlton Gardens, Central Park, I mean, maybe it's just a little bit similar. I also wanted to do the whole Melbourne is uh, New York type vibe uh, because, well, some people have said like Melbourne is like the New York of Australia, which it's kind of, uh, I don't know if it really is, but you know, uh, the vibe that we have in Melbourne is a little bit grungier and a little bit more that vibe. And so I thought I would record it at uh, Carlton Gardens, which is not Central Park, but I wanted to give off a little bit of a, kind of a city vibe or city park vibe. Just doing a bit of filming in uh, Central Park. No, wait, no, no, uh, <laughs> not Central Park, sorry, uh, Carlton Gardens. For me, a lot of my film work has been about the hustle and bustle of the Melbourne lifestyle. Uh, don't order a coffee yet, because I'm on the way. We'll go to another cafe, don't go to Starbucks. I love when I see a city and people are experiencing Carlton Gardens. As always, I was filming, so I'm running a little late. Hey, how you doing, man? Hey, what's going on? This is Dan. See ya. Oh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so some of, the, some of these comments are hilarious, like this one here, like, just like London then, uh, comparing it to their big city. Okay, here's this one. I've been in Melbourne for three days, and I got told I was going to 
bye bye a yellow. And also I get random hate comments too, like quite a lot of hate. Like, oh, so now he has to go pick up his phone. It's like, of course I have to pick up my phone, I filmed it. It's really interesting because I was getting heaps of hate comments in that period of my life, like lots of hate comments online. And I am usually not too affected by these things, but it did send me in a onto a downward spiral of some sort. And I had to really deal with that. So that's why I also decided to make that documentary about that process because yeah i yeah i'm caught between worlds i make films but i also make these punchy little short videos that you know draw a lot of attention so it's kind of this existential thing that filmmakers go through where they start to question their role and yeah i thought i'd um explain a little bit of that in the episode too Good morning. Good morning. who's that you have so many staff now amazing <laughs> Oh, Dan, can you grab me a batch brew, please? Thanks. I used to live in the heart of the city. I actually uploaded a thousand videos uh, from my city apartment, basically, and me on the streets, day in, day out, and uh, yeah. A lot of protests. Yeah, a lot of protests in the city. Um, but you know, but that's it. Like everyone uh, in the city is is going through brushing past each other every single day. We brush past so many people, and the reality of that is. That's what causes that beautiful tension for drama and in the case of a writer, melodrama. You know, there's always a story there. The short runtime was really punchy and I wanted to come to a conclusion about what the whole message of that episode was. And I really like the message of that episode. I'm just gonna place this here because I like sitting. So everything, it must belong somewhere, right? All the way from the tradies having a smoko and laughing at the funny looking guy walking past. Why would they laugh at someone that looks like me? All the way to the poet all alone, to the mother carrying those grocery bags home that they can barely afford just to get by. To the yeller. Every city has a story. What's yours? So I think I wanted to talk about how the city of Melbourne is a character and I'm a product of that city and that there is sadness and there is happiness and there is everything in between. But there are a lot of stories to tell. So if you ever need inspiration, maybe you just need to look out the window or go for a walk or, you know, just spend a bit of time in the real world. Touch grass or as you know you see the common touch grass online a lot so yeah i hope that was an enjoyable uh, look into one of my early episodes uh, and the techniques of storytelling that i used why it worked why it didn't work maybe and um, yeah bring a bit of love to that early episode that i did i want to say also i've been trying a more improvisational style it's been very hard to be consistent because i have been dealing with bouts of um, sadness and things but i'm trying my best to continue creating because it's a beautiful thing to do and it's a gift that I can do. Um, I'm very lucky and it's so interesting how as I start talking like this the sun comes out and changes the mood again. So I think I'll wrap on that because it's perfect. <laughs>